a.m. and I'm going to Mount Etna. I'm transferring. It's just one hour away from Catania. And at 9 a.m. I'm meeting my alpinistic guide to go up and see lava. <laughs> Going up to the cable car. I'm boarding the cable car. <laughs> you don't see me drinking coffee at all, but. I stayed in a hostel, which was the biggest mistake I could ever make because the girls were so loud and someone was snoring so I couldn't sleep and have to do this hike right now. Well, first we're gonna board this bus. Looks so cool. <laughs> like uh, uh, old Russian buses or something. And then uh, we're gonna arrive at 2,900 meters. And from there, we're gonna walk right to the top of the craters, and it's open. I'm so happy. The link, right? Yes. I'm, we're... In, I'm on YouTube now. This is television, live from Sicily. Yay! Wow. From Mount Etna. <laughs> it's over there. Look how everyone is dressed. They're just wearing a jacket and I have this kind of light jacket under my winter jacket. I'm feeling good. It's like of a mix of snow melting. I can see the smoke coming out of the volcano right in front of me. So I'm very eager to get there. This is Mount Edna, the most active volcano in Europe. Once I knew open, once again after eruption in December, I booked my ticket. I got here, so if I can do it, you can do it too! Come on. The most active crater, <laughs> the most active crater of the last 20 years in it. I think I got delayed from the group a little bit and I'm walking right on the lava rocks here and it's so soft! Walking on a soft pillow or something and right behind me is my treasure! Couldn't be even more happier than doing this. I love real of adventure. How come I'm not scared to do it? Honestly, I don't feel anything right now except happiness and just self-fulfillment. Look how beautiful it is! Well, look at that! What is it to be scary of? First, it's just empowering and I, I just advise every single person to do it. Stop. I'm actually feeling so hungry, but I just ate maybe like an hour, like two hours ago. You move so much, we've been already climbing, I've been, and I already got so hot, so I had to take off my big jacket. <laughs> and I think it's another hour to go. My Canadian Hudson's Bay gloves are in use in here.
all I hated. But that's, I think, because of the lack of oxygen that I can grab in one breath. Hey guys, how's the energy level? Yay! Yay. We're, we're 20 minutes away. To see the horizon and the far excuses. I think that's it. Right over there. I made it. Right behind me is Mount Rathna, the most active volcano. Dun dun. Dun 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 I know if you can hear it, but there where the, like another steam is coming out right here It's like brrrr and there's more steam coming out <laughs> So fun So guys, it's actually a little bit scary because you can hear how it's like booming, boom, and you're right near here. And my guide also said it's not a good idea to stay here long because it's one of the most active volcanoes and you never know what can happen. It actually got me scared because first I thought, you know, like he's kind of joking, trying to scare people, but like he was serious. I was like, holy crap. I don't know how we got here. Give me bubble gum, it helps, but <laughs> it's very hard. So, going through this mess, I get through. <laughs> We're out of the danger zone, at least for me, for breathing. We're going down right now. Never panicked that much in Volcano before. Did it. We just descended. I just want to say if you think that I'm the bravest girl, I'm gonna let you think again. I couldn't make a lot of videos on the top because actually I start finding him because I couldn't breathe. And I used to hike volcano, uh, I used to wear gas masks, so the sulfur and air didn't really bother. Right now I can't even really speak a lot because <laughs> it's like a little bit, you know, tickling everywhere. The volcano 
I didn't expect to be that active because when we're standing there, you can hear the small eruption, so you can literally hear like boom, 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 boom. And it's so scary because after that, there is a flow of air that goes onto you. Just a humongous smell of sulfur. If you never hiked the volcano, when you feel so sulfur in your air, it starts to be like tickling and start to hurt. And you can't breathe. It's the same if you try to breathe like this. You start to cough, and at a certain point, even the tour guide was like kind of a bit worried because that, that's the volcano kind of predicted it's going to erupt or not. And then he was like, I'm like worried what's, what's going on. Everyone was coughing. And, uh, I think it was all fine, just the disclaimer, if you think like, oh, how come I'm not scared? I'm scared when I feel my health in danger. Uh, when I was there and it was erupting, it wasn't scary. There is adrenaline rush that in a minute something can happen. But when I couldn't breathe, I was very scared because you can't really do anything about that. On the top of the volcano, there is no way that someone will help you in time if you'll stop like, breathing, if you like, lose your consciousness. The thing that I should remember is I'm gonna bring my own gas mask because it's crazy. I think it's very bad to relax, but I think I'm gonna survive. Um, we'll see if this uh, vlog is gonna get posted that I'm okay. If not, well, you never know, you know, if I've ever been here. So <laughs> I'm gonna stop recording here because I can't talk properly and I'm gonna have my lunch. I brought some salad. There is nothing better than to see an active volcano. No better adrenaline rush when you meet such a powerful attribute of the nature. If something will happen, that's it. But you can kind of sense how powerful nature is. And a lot of people forget. Come here, bring your gas mask. Again, to contribute to the blog, um, I cannot eat healthy while I'm traveling. I'm on the volcano. And I'm eating chicken and some salad and avocado. Stay healthy. And all of my jacket is in lava too because I want to feel closer to the nature. And it's actually quite hard. You can't even break it. Look. Yeah, it's really bad. You're walking another hour of walking, but it's right fast. So, I'm actually feeling right now almost like I'm drunk. I'm feeling like it was easy. <laughs> but I feel very satisfied. So, we're actually discussing right now to which planet it resembles. And we're thinking between what is it, Mars and Mercury. Oh, look at that yeah. stone. Okay. Like in Star Wars or something. Yeah, well, I'm thinking that it looks like Mercury or Mars, and this uh, this guy he knows way better because he actually studied that. But you know, because I'm in my fairy tale, I think that Mercury and Mars has like this kind of like you know, white uh, or not like, white black. Mars has has polar caps, so there's ice on top and bottom. Oh, like here, look. <laughs> actually, such a surreal walk. It's quite straight, so it's easy to walk, and. It's like, you know, we're literally not on Earth. You can't see Earth. There's like clouds there. And you can see well, another mountain behind. cable car actually it took us around maybe an hour to go up but it took us around it feels like two hours to go down because we didn't take this like little bus I feel like eating and going to a hot tub also when you go down 
you actually see a lot of beautiful views, whereas when you go on the top, it's quite steep, so you don't really see much. And we did it! We're on the ground!